Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a special upload today. One of my friends has allowed me to get on his account and open up some two-player gold packs, two-player packs. They've been pretty good this year. I've seen a lot of people pull some insane things from these packs this year. So we're gonna get a shot on his account today. I think he's got 50 of these. He has 50 packs in total. I'm honestly not entirely sure what the last 20 are. As you know, we can only see the first 30. Um, but we're hoping to get some of those new Team of the Week players today. And basically, I just wanna do this video to kinda of show you guys, are these packs worth it? Probably not everybody can afford to go do 50, 60, 70 of these packs. But if you can afford to do 10 or 20 of them and get some good pulls, then uh, I would say that it's definitely worth it. Worth it. So we're gonna see what we can get today on this account. We're gonna try to rip through them too fast. I don't want this video to be super duper long. Um, but I also wanna make sure that we get uh, the biggest bang for our buck today. 50 packs, two rare gold players packs. I personally have had some pretty good luck with these. Um, I've done a few of them, not too many. Oh, we have our first board of the day. Second pack in, we have a board player. Wales, ah, it's Ramsey, man. It's Ramsey, dude. Every time you see that Wales flag, all that you're thinking about, all that you're thinking about is bail. Uh, but I got trolled. The first time I saw that, I thought it was bail right away too. Ramsey, 83 rated though, we'll take it. If he's gonna do that SBC from today, uh, the Piemonte Calcio players are actually like all extinct, or they were. Um, so that's a big time SBC fodder card, which is nice. What else are we gonna have in pack number three? If it is not a board, I'm probably gonna end up skipping the ones that are not boards here pretty soon. Uh, and it is Timo Horn, 81 rated. But like I was saying, I've had some pretty good luck with these packs. I have packed, um, I packed Laporte from one of these. I have packed um, an Inform. I forget what Inform I packed from this. It was like a discard Inform, but it's an Inform. Uh, and I also packed a Muller and Rakitic from these packs. So I've had pretty good luck from the two player packs. And I really haven't done that many of them. I've probably done somewhere in the range of like 20, 20 to 30 uh, in total. The way that I like to have fun with this, as I do really, really enjoy packs, is uh, I tend to do a pack before I go to sleep every night. So like before I go to bed, before I log off FIFA for the night, just pop open one two player pack. Yes, it's gonna add up over time and it may not be worth it, but you never know what you're gonna get from those polls. And you may have seen me tweet last week that I got that Laporte from uh, doing one pack before bed. And I got 87 Laporte uh, in a pack, which was freaking dope. Uh, very glad that I got that. And I'm also very glad that he has most of these cards that are duplicates as tradables in his club. So we're only five packs in, um, only five packs in, but we have a board player. So if we average, if we average one board player per five packs, that'd be pretty solid, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be pretty solid? Uh, striker, that's a Fernandez MLS player. A board for per five packs, I feel like would be very, very solid. We already have one board and we've opened seven packs. This is pack number seven opening up right here. Come on EA, I wanna see that slow roll. It's not the slow roll again, so we're probably just gonna skip right through it to keep things moving right along. What is gonna be in this pack? Jimenez, and probably an SBC fodder player that sells. We'll send him up to the transfer list and keep ripping. If you guys have opened these packs, let me know how you've done uh, in terms of some of the pack pulls that you've gotten. Is that another board? It is not, man. I've always wondered, those two lines that come in on the bottom at the very beginning of the pack, are those, do those actually tell you ahead of time what kind of player it's gonna be? We have to discard our first player of the day and that is Nemanja Matic. But I feel like those uh, two lines on the bottom that come in to start the pack opening, the pack, the pack animation, like these two right here, I feel like if those go slow and if they're really big, then you know it's gonna be a board player. But since we haven't seen, I only saw that once. I'm trying to really figure out this pack animation still. I know how to tell if it's a walkout. I know how to tell if it's a board just by the speed alone. But I, can you tell before the, do the door opens? I'm trying to figure that out. It's like right there, this has to be a board. Let's go, it's a board. Is it a Spanish? Center attacking mid, Sarabia. Oh my gosh, this would have been a once to watch card a couple days ago, man. If we could have done these a few days early, that would have been a ones to watch. Pablo Sarabia, 83 rated center attack in mid from PSG. Got robbed of an inform, man. 
robbed of an inform. Verratti in this week's Team of the Week. Um, and that's just disgraceful in my opinion. But we are on pace with our one um, board player for every uh, 10 packs. We get back-to-back -back boards. Let's go. It is, oh, it's going to be Sigurdsson. Center attacking mid from Everton. 83 rated. Gilfai Sigurdsson. Hey, we'll take it. It's an 83 rated SBC fodder. We'll throw it in the club. Uh, and we'll do with that what we will. We keep moving, though. Three board players in 11 packs, man. Three boards in 11 packs. We continue on with these two-player packs. Let's keep it rolling. I want to see another board. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back boards. We can't pull that off, unfortunately. We can't pull that off. Uh, but again, if you guys have had good luck on these packs... Ooh, Jamie Vardy, let's go! That's a 20,000 coin pull right there. GG. GG. That's a nice and tradable to have in the club. You'll take that. A nice little Jamie Vardy. Um, I think I looked in his team before I started opening these packs, and he has the Walcott SBC completed. So, that pack pull will help him out there with some chemistry links. We have another board player. Dude, give me the freaking walkouts, man. Who's this? Kevin Campbell from Leipzig. Another 83 rated. So, we've had 83s, and do we get 184 maybe? Maybe 184, but a lot of 83 so far. Three walkouts. Actually, that's our fourth walkout, and uh, that guy's a... Uh, untradeable. That's our fourth, excuse me, fourth board drop. I'm getting ahead of myself. Four board drops so far. We are way ahead of schedule in terms of one per five packs. We're killing it right now. The pack luck is pretty solid, I'd say. Just hasn't been great yet. All we need to do here now is hit that one big player, and we're looking really good. He has a Frazier in his team, uh, so maybe this is a tradable one that he has in his team. Did he purchase this card? He did. We're going to throw out the transfer list. So he has an untradeable one now in his club. 35 packs to go. EA, I want to see... You know what? You've been giving me a lot of boards. I appreciate that. Now let's see some walkouts. Now let's see some walkouts. Jao Felix, let's go, dude. Get in. How much is he... How much is Jao Felix on the market right now? Jao Felix on footbin. The man is around 15k. I mean, he's down a lot out of packs, but let's freaking go, dude. That's a 15,000 coin untradeable pull for the club. Heck yeah. Get in. Get the freak in. Let's go. Jao Felix, Vardy. So we've gotten some pretty good packs so far that have been players non-boards or non-walkouts that have been still really solid players. That's what you like to see. This is another board. It's not a walkout. Come on, EA. Italian center back. From Milan, is this Ro Magnoli? It's Ro Magnoli 83 rated. So, uh, this man is going to be set up on the SBC fodder. We've gotten a ton of SBC fodder so far. Ro Magnoli and Weghorst. Uh, you will take a tradable, and you'll take an untradable card to swap out with the uh, the tradable any day of the week. So, what is that? Is that five 83s now? Five boards we have gotten, or six boards? I have lost track. Back to back again. It's not a walkout. EA. Stop it with these boards. You're Jimenez. Let's go. That's solid. That's our highest rated one so far. 85 rated Jimenez. You know what? Let me check and see what he goes for on the market. We've gotten two Atletico players in, in quick spans. Jimenez is 10K. Nice 85 rated though. That's our biggest pull so far. We'll take that. We'll take an 85 rated. Oh, he has it untradeable. Please tell me that he has a tradable one in the club. He does. Let's go. Campbell as well. Tradable. Nice. So there's an 85 rated, our best pack pull. So almost 20 packs down, and we've gotten uh, a lot of boards. I'd say this is, if you're looking for SBC fodder to do SBCs, this is your pack opening right here. Another board. Let's go. That's three in a row boards. Who's this one going to be? Dominson Sanchez. Let's go. 83 rated Dominson Sanchez. How much is he? Is he still 40K? 50K? Oh, get in. 46,000 coins on the PlayStation, 36 on the Xbox. That's a big uh, price difference right there. Mr. Sanchez, 83 rated. That's a big time addition to the club. Untradeable as well. Boys, the pack luck is heating up. Get in. Get in. That's going to fit right in his team. He's got a Premier League back line. Let's freaking go, baby. Come on. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Dominson Sanchez, Jimenez, and back to back packs. All right. No, uh, no. Walk out or a board in this pack. It is going to be Matic again. 
untradeable. That's a bit of a rip. It's a slight bit of a rip. Um, and Zanzi, you out for sure, for sure, for sure. 31 packs to go. Now I can look back here and see if these are all two player packs. They are actually all two players packs. Dope. The man took the time to put together 52 player packs for the stream. Unbelievable. Uh, this looks to be another non board. So we're going to skip through it really fast. Keep this thing moving right along. Coco and Lecompte. That's a tradable one to send up. Let's go. We'll take it. 30 packs to go. All right. We're approaching the halfway mark. We've gotten some good pulls already. Let's see if EA can turn it up in the second half of these packs. Let's see if EA can turn it up. Again, we're looking for boards and walkouts only. Boards and walkouts only. That's what we're concerned with here. Boards and walkouts. But, uh, boys, it is Thursday, so you guys are probably uh, like, yo, Nate, why are you uploading a two-player pack video on rewards day? I record videos the night before. That's when I can get them up. Dude, again, not a walkout. What is this? Portuguese, right mid. Ah, is this Pizzy? It is Pizzy, 84 rated. Not a bad card to be fair. If that was a center mid, uh, he'd be a, I think he'd be a pretty solid card to put in your, in your club and your team. It's another 84 rated though, we'll take it. So we're getting boards right, left, and center. We're getting boards right, left, and center. But again, uh, the rewards videos, I just am not able to do them in the morning. That's why you don't see the videos from me on Thursdays, since I have a full-time job and work, they're going to kind of be a little bit more, they're not going to really be based on rewards or even on trading because there's so many market movements that happen on a Thursday um, that it's really hard for me to record a video the night before with rewards happening in the morning and putting out some type of market video. That's why I always do like the Thursday flipping stuff. Those videos come out on Wednesdays. That's why you see those then because I'm able to get that information out to you guys earlier and beforehand. Um, but Thursday is a little bit interesting because, uh, with the rewards and stuff, it's not easy to put out a market video because that's a day when the market moves a lot of different directions. So that's why on Thursdays you might see some how to videos. You might see, um, some sort of pack opening with there's upgrade packs. Um, maybe just maybe every once in a while I will get up early enough to open rewards early in the morning. I have to plan that ahead of time, but most of the time I end up opening rewards um, on stream. Ah, oh, dude, no, this is untradeable. Frick. I end up opening rewards on stream later in the evening. Most of the time, there aren't many people that have saved their rewards for me to open just because it's late. Uh, it's late Thursday night by the time I'm able to get on for most of you guys. So it's just not who wants to wait all day for their rewards, you know? Not a lot of people. They want to get those rewards, see what they get from Weekend League and from Rivals. So I don't blame people. I don't blame people at all, but that's. I usually end up opening rewards on stream. That's why you don't see reward videos out of me on Thursdays. At some point in the future, you probably will. Um, you know, every now and then you might see one, but it's going to be kind of rare, just because of uh, working a full time job and what that means for my schedule, uh, in terms of being able to just legitly get on FIFA. So, Hermosa right there. It's a solid pack pull. We've gotten a couple uh, Atletico Madrid guys today. Some Atletico Madrid guys. Um, we're going to send that up to the transfer list. He might sell for a little something. Rafael as well. How many packs do we have left? 23 packs remaining. We're a little bit dry. We haven't had a board or the slow animation in a, in a few packs. Can I call one right here? I cannot, unfortunately. We haven't even had any good uh, like 82 rateds and below recently either. Let's freaking step it up, EA. Gila Vogi, I think I already packed him. I did not pack him. I did pack Bolasi though. So that's a discard. 22 packs to go. Let me go all the way to the end. We're going to open up pack number 22. Let's go EA Sports. Show me the walkouts. Show me the good stuff. Oh, what is this? Is this slow? Ah, oh, Dude, I thought this was slow, man. I thought this was going to be a slow pack animation. And it is Ian Falke. It is Ian Falke. Konate. And this is probably a duplicate untradeable. Yes, it is. Get him out. Get him out. Dobinson Sanchez, though, is definitely the biggest pull so far this pack opening. Dobinson is huge. Uh, Jimenez is nice. Jal Felix is really nice as well. Jamie Vardy. Looks like another board drop here. EA, give me a freaking walkout, dude. How many boards is this? Um, And then who is this guy? 
Sirigu, 84 rated Sirigu. So another SBC fodder player to add to the club for this guy. Uh, and then a 77 as well. Two goalkeepers in one pack. Rip, 20 to go. 20 packs to go. Can we get something for the account that's a walkout? Please, I'm just asking for walkouts now. We've gotten so many boards. I've been teased looking for that left side of the light to flicker. I've wanted to see that so many times, but it hasn't come yet. Diaz, I think this is untradeable. I digress. Third time that we've packed Belasi. So that's nice. So that is very nice. Um, and then here we go, 19 packs left. Again, we're looking for a walkout EA Sports. Not this time. How about a Musa Sissoko or a Furlan Mendy? That would be beautiful. Oh, instead we get Babel and Lotaro Martinez. Nice. Really nice EA Sports. Can we end this one on a bang? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that before like every pack because I really want to end this with a bang, all right? Let's go. Show me the slowness. Ah, I want to see the slowness. Boys, are we going to have to put on the glasses for the last pen ta 10 packs? I'm dyslexic sometimes. The last 10 packs, I think I'm going to have to put the glasses on. Just to, just to show EA that we're not messing around. Just to show EA Sports that we are not messing around. Let's go. EA. Another non-walkout, non-board. Another one. I feel like I need to put some DJ Khaled in the background. Oh, Kalara. That's a nice SBC fodder card. Gets to save a tradable one for the transfer list. You'll take it. Let's go open pack number 15. Pack 15. We haven't done any uh, interesting. I haven't done like an elbow pack or like nose pack. I haven't done any of that stuff. I need to work on that as well, man. I'm slacking on my um, pack superstitions. If you have a pack superstition, that's probably a good question to ask. If you have a pack su superstition that works for you like every time, you got to let me know, all right? It doesn't work for... Not every superstition works for everybody. All right, here we go. Pack three with the nose. Let's freaking go. Come on, EA. Nose pack for the win. We're going to drop the controller. We're going to leave our hands in the air. Not even a board, man. Unbelievable. What is this stuff? What is this? Is it good? Ooh, Thomas Delaney. That's not terrible. 82 rated. Pretty nice card. It's got that popular inform that is probably flying right now in price. As we speak, after the Weekend League and Division Rivals Rewards on Thursday. Man, this pack look has really, really slowed down. We were hot in like the first 20 packs. I think we got like, what, five or six boards? But still, no walkouts, man. A lot of SBC fodder stuff. A lot of stuff that's going to be good for SBCs down the line. I think we need to start pulling out the pack sevens. We need to start opening pack seven. And with 10 packs to go, we're putting the shades on, boys, all right? Oh, what is this? This has to be something. Nothing. It looks slow from the beginning. Nemanja Matic again, GGMU. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna about to quick sell all these man you guys. About to quick sell all my Spurs guys too, man. Two teams that are not playing so hot right now in uh, in the Prem, that's for sure. Eleven packs to go, EA. Turn this thing around right now, please. I'm I beg you. One walkout is all that I'm asking for. Not even an inform from these packs yet, man. Not even an inform. Ruben Pena. Literally, not even an inform yet. We've gotten so many board drops. I would have figured that one of them, at least by now, would have been an inform. Literally, nothing has been inform. And we are at 10 packs to go, so I think the shade is going to have to come on. Unless this is a walkout, and then EA, you would save yourself. It is not a walkout. It is not a board. The shades are coming on. EA Sports, you've made me do this. You're giving me the Farmins. You're giving me the low-rated SBC fodder that nobody needs in their club. We want the big boys only. You're making me put the shades on. All right, boys, here we go. Last 10 packs. Let's freaking do this. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's go. Four, pack number four. We have 10 packs to go. We got the shades on. We're ready. This is content at its utmost level. And we start off with a non-board pack. This better be Militao or Mendy or somebody that's very good. Or the glasses aren't worth it. Who's in this pack? Nobody good. All right, EA, we'll give you three more chances to prove yourself. We're going to go elbow pack, shades on. There it is, elbow pack. The controller's been set down. 
EA Sports FIFA HD Vancouver Canada walkout in this pack. Bro. How many packs is that in a row with no board? And a 79 rated from what league is that? What league is that man from? The Chinese lead. Chinese league. Unbelievable. Chinese league and Mexican league in the same pack. Give me pack seven. I get to, I can only do pack seven one more time after this because it is the last pack. The very last pack in the store that we have left. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. This is killing me. We started off so hot and now uh, this is not going so well. We already packed the comp, so that's going to be untradeable. I think the moral of the story here is, dudes, don't do 50. I think 50 might just be a little bit too many. Obviously, we love packs and we'll, we'll open packs all day, but 50 might be too many. Like, we're talking absolute bang for your buck. That looks like the bang for your buck range might be like 15 to 20. If you have the pack front loaded like this guy did, if the pack is front loaded like this every time, that might be the move. That literally might be the move. Do like 15 or 20 packs or something like that and then uh, and then test it out that way. But I still want to walk out of this. I want to prove myself wrong. What is this? This is slow. It's not a walkout. It's only a board again. It's French though. It's a center mid. Toliso? Hey, we'll take a Toliso. GG. That's a solid player. 83 rated. He's going to be SBC fodder down the line. Uh, but finally, we get another board. Another board player. He has him in his club. Oh, he has him untreatable already. We have to quick sell. No, man. Ah, oh, I got to get rid of a Toliso. That sucks. That sucks. So we get an... Are arguably like one of our best board drops of the day. Probably like a top three or four board drop on the day, and we have to quick sell it because he already has it untradeable. EA. Oh my gosh, what do we have? Three packs to go? Yeah, boys. I'm gonna say if you're gonna stack some of these two player packs, then Pedro's not too bad for SBCs. If you're gonna stack some two player packs, I would say keep it in a 10 to 20 pack range. 10 or 20 pack range, because this is not looking so hot at the moment. Just so average, man. You want that one big player to really cap off an opening like this. And we, we can still get it with three packs left. But it's not looking likely. Uh, Benyat and Murillo. I packed Murillo in the first pack. I should know that he is uh, an untradeable dupe. Three packs to go. We're going to go with a dab opening the pack. Set the controller down. EA Sports. The dab magic. Work it up right here. The dab pack didn't work. Disgraceful. Now I'm embarrassed because the dab pack didn't work. Unbelievable. You hate to see it. Ruben Neves and Mondi. Ruben Neves and Mondi. Disgraceful. Two packs to go. EA, if you're out there, if you're hearing me, drop that nice walkout into this pack. Just do it for the boys. Here it is as a board. It's a walkout with two packs to go. They listen. Spanish. Goalkeeper. Deja! Get in! Why did I not get excited for that right away? David Deja do oh he's doing the worm. Get it's the glasses, boys. It's the glasses. We called out EA, and on the last chance, they came through. They came through. 89 rated David Deja. How much is this man in packs right now? Please say like 70k. What is he? 65,000 coins. Now that is is making this pack opening a lot more worth it. 89 rated David De Gea. GG's. That just turns the whole thing around. Let's freaking go. Is there anybody else in the pack? Two walkouts in one pack. Rugani as well. Does he have a tradable one in his club? Uh, that needs to be that needs to, this needs to be sold on the market pronto. Um, he's like 8k. We're gonna just send it to the transfer list. David De Gea, 89 rated dude. Get in. That fits right into his team. Let's freaking go. This pack, hey, EA, if you want to do the business again, I mean, this is your chance to go back to back and really change this thing up. It is not a walkout or a board, unfortunately. But David De Gea changes the entire pack opening at the end. So if you look at it, ooh, and double A as well. He probably did the SBC or the objective one, but N double A 81 rated, that's a very solid card. I'm getting excited for that. I don't know why. Uh, but that's a GG. Even Sanchez as well. Not bad. So, 50 packs, 2 player packs and tradable. 
Um, probably not looking like we made our money back there. If you average it out for probably somewhere at around 4,000 coins per pack. Um, 4,000 coins per pack and you multiply that by 50. That's around 200,000 coins. We got De Gea, we got Sanchez, that's 100K right there. And then we got a bunch of other cards that were in that 10 to 20K range. So we probably made somewhere around 150K worth of untradeable card pack pulls back. But I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be a risky. It's gonna be risky if you're doing this. So maybe if instead of doing, uh, instead of doing 200K worth, doing a bunch of those, I'm gonna say probably stick to like 10 or 20 because that's gonna be a lot more affordable for a lot of people. You know, spend maybe 50k, 75k on these packs. See what you can get. And uh, you know, I had fun doing these packs in FIFA 18 when they were juiced. I would do them in sets of like 10 to 15 when we get a new team of the week or when a new promo would come out. That's what I would recommend with you guys. If we don't have any other SBCs and you have a lot of coins, don't be doing these packs if you're broke. My man's got 800k. He can afford to do some of these early on in the game. But yeah, not the best value for packs in this pack opening. De Gea saved it. De Gea literally saved it again uh so we appreciate that but if you guys enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions or you uh want to show off your pack holes you can flex it of course and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate foot accountant catch you guys later peace out